guys, it's Audrey, and this is the premiere episode of a fashion segment we are going to be doing on BuzzNet. And I actually just got this amazing book called Vintage LA, and it shows you all the rad thrifting places in California. So, the first place we're at is Ragmop, and we're going to show you how to put together some cute, cheap outfits. So, let's go. Slips are actually a great way to make a high-waisted skirt or even a dress. Actually, this is kind of funny. Race car drivers, let's see what we can do with this. So I am actually really into like 60s type bathing suits. Um, you can get them on eBay or these kind of vintage stores are perfect to find them because not a lot of designers are making those cuts. You would never think, but you could actually make this super cute, so we'll try that on. So scarves are a great way to change up an outfit from just being t-shirt and jeans. You can wear it as a belt, high-waisted belt, low belt. You can wear it as a normal scarf, or you can tie it around the side as a headband. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. Ooh, look at that. Can I try that on? This would have been the perfect outfit for 4th of July. I wish I had gotten here sooner. So the best part about going thrifting or vintage shopping is that it's basically one of a kind. It's not going to be going to your local mall and then going to school the next day and everybody wearing the same thing. Every town has a vintage store in it, whether it's a Goodwill or more high scale. So no matter where you live, you don't have to be in Los Angeles. A rumor has it this dress was made for the movie The Cat in the Hat for Kelly Preston's character which means I basically have to try it on, and I think I have more than enough things, so let's go see what they look like. So this is not very flattering right now, but I'm going to see what I can do with it. Yay, much cuter, pizza party. And that is just done by tying a scarf around the top. So this hat is kind of like a flower version of Pirates of the Caribbean. So I don't know about that, but this bathing suit I'm in love with. And the best part is, because it's kind of got like a skirt on it too, you could wear it as like a little jumper romper. You could just wear it during the day or at a pool. So this is the 4th of July outfit. And um, it's a little tight, but um, I love it. I feel like I should be doing gymnastics and stuff. Since this is a fashion segment, I need to show my my pro nails, my mini mouse. So this is the infamous cat in the hat dress. And I am in love with it. I was actually a cat in the hat for Halloween in fourth grade. But I think this dress is a little cooler than my costume was. So, so don't laugh at me because I personally love it. These shorts are actually really comfortable. This is amazing. This is the necklace, it's got like a blue lamb. It totally reminds me of the Juicy Couture ads. I'm going to buy this right now and whoever leaves me feedback on this video is automatically going to be entered to win it. Okay, I lied. I became too attached to this one, but we can be twins and I'm going to buy you the monkey eating the watermelon. So we got some really fun stuff here at Ragmop, including our matching necklaces and yours would be the monkey eating the watermelon, which I am still jealous of, so stay tuned for the next episode.